So somebody asked me yesterday, what does the Moscow time mean? And I'm sure there's probably enough new people in the chat here where we can talk about this again. I talk about it every couple months just for the new folks here. But the Moscow time, essentially, I give that metric every morning. And what it means is one US dollar, how many sats that will buy you. So one US dollar, how many sats will that get you with one US dollar? So that's the Moscow time. And the reason why it's called the Moscow time is from Jack Dorsey. I don't know how long ago it was. It was probably a couple of years now for sure. But he was testifying, I believe, in front of Congress. And they were doing it all virtually. And so he was set up with his webcam. And in the background, he had one of the block clocks. So the block clock is basically a clock that tells all the different metrics within Bitcoin. It says the block height, the Bitcoin price, the sats per dollar, all these metrics. And so he had that block clock in the background and it said 1953 or something along those lines. So anyways, people unfamiliar with Bitcoin didn't know what it was. They thought it was a clock, an actual clock, and that it was displaying Moscow time. And so they accused Jack of being a Russian spy because his clock was in Russia time, which it actually wasn't Russian time. It was the sats per dollar. But that's why it's called Moscow time now. And the Moose Jaw time is basically just the Canadian version of that. Moose Jaw is a city here in, in Canada, in Saskatchewan, province over. And so that's the, the, the Moose Jaw time is the Canadian equivalent. So how many sats will one Canadian dollar get you? So that's what we talk about every day on the show.